Good morning, good morning. My name is Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. So, um, this morning, how do we how do we pray when we feel unnerved or angry or afraid or just depressed or, you know, that great English word that kind of encompasses all and each of those things. We feel upset. So, I'm guessing that a lot of us, um, after so many years of success and with the pandemic and what's happening in the world now with the rise of autocracy and invasion of Ukraine, um, people are feeling upset. So the good news is that um, one of the things I like about the Bible is that there are parts of the Bible that I think that over time, they're there to teach us and guide us. But I tell you, you read those psalms, pray. Psalm, psalms is a collection of songs, poems, ancient prayers. And um, they are expressing real human anger and hurt and fear. So sometimes, depending on your mood, or depending on your life circumstances, because mood sounds very flighty, but sometimes it's just where you are. Certain psalms will resonate more than others. And certain sign, psalms uh, are sometimes downright revolting. If you are in the middle of suffering, you don't want to read about someone being like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> and if you are in a happy time, you don't, you know, you don't necessarily understand the rage that wants God to do terrible things to other people. And that's actually the prayer. So that's why there are 150 of them. <laughs> if you open up your Bible or turn it on or look it up on Google, um, there are 150 of these poems and some of them are pretty raw. So let's just take a moment today to um, pray and We'll riff briefly off Psalm 77, but, um, you know, I'm not even going to do the whole Psalm, which doesn't do it justice. It's like reading the first couple of lines of a poem. Say, like, hey, where's the rest of the poem? You can look it up. There we go. In the name of Abba, our creator, Jesus, our liberator, and the spirit who is holy. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Friend, let's take one deep breath, just a couple times now. And notice where you're sitting or standing. Maybe your feet are on the floor. One could be chair. Where are your hands? to notice. Let's come back to now. Because now, in this moment, this is where Jesus is. Emmanuel. God with us right here. Right now. And I'll help us to pray, especially when we don't know what to think about what's going on. When we're greatly distressed, right? Like, like horrible is what's happening in Ukraine is, at least we're seeing images of refugees being welcomed. And I'm sure many people are like, well, when my family or when my people who look like me were refugees, they weren't welcomed. And so it, there's always, we're, we're really awful to each other. <laughs> and that leads to a lot of suffering. Anyway, God, help us to pray through this, to find a way to really love you and each other and to find a way to be in this in this world. Okay. So this is from Psalm 77, the first few verses. I cry aloud to God. Cry to God to hear me. On the day of my distress, I seek the most high. By night, my hands are raised unceasingly. I refuse to be consoled. When I think of God, I groan. As 
as I ponder, my spirit grows faint. My eyes cannot close in sleep. I'm troubled and cannot be. Lord, I ask your blessing on us that when we feel this way, that we at least continue to pray and trust that your grace will break through, that your love, your light will break into our darkness as individuals and as family and as your people and as the entire world. Help us to keep on going. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's just a little introduction. If you keep going with that psalm, and especially Psalm 79 and some others, um, you'll find a pretty raw prayer. And the idea isn't that we have to pretend to be all trusting. No, God, oh, you know, I trust. No, the psalmist is saying, I can't even think about God without groaning. And I just, I just, um, if you look further down the psalm, the writer, the poet writes, has God's love ceased forever? Because that's what gosh darn looks like, God, right? That's real. Those, are, These are real and raw prayers. So, um, if you are feeling that hurt, that anger, that despair, that fear in your heart, you don't have to worry about cleaning up before praying. The idea is that we we pray when we're a mess in the hope, in the in the trust, in the faith that God will respond. So I'll jot down in the comment section the num or the little note section the numbers of the psalms you can start with, but Really, that's if you have no words. You can start there and use the poet's words. You don't have to even finish the whole psalm. It's a way to pray, right? It's a way to begin the conversation. So be blessed, dear one. And whatever hurt, whatever anxiety you're having, whether it's um, a nasty employee you don't know how to manage or a rotten manager who's cruel, I mean, these aren't all that, like, if you are the one in distress, there you go. So we pray that you will be protected and blessed and that you will find a way to keep praying and that God's light will shine on you and show you a way to a safe and loving place. Be blessed here in the name of Abba, our creator, Jesus, our liberator and the spirit who is holy. Amen.